Peace family, this is Shofar from Bosho Energy Work, and I want to talk to you today about sharpening our mental focus, especially around distortions and distractions, distractions and distortions. And so the intention of this video is help to refine and to renegotiate, recalibrate recalib our mental abilities and to be able to, the reason for that is so that we can have more in life, right? And to be able to manifest our will, to, to be able to create womb for what it is that our desires, wants, and needs. So a big part of that, though, is that our intention, which is a seed, has to impregnate our imagination, right? So we have the masculine, feminine, feminine, and masculine. And when our energy is, when the mental intention is distracted, or when the feminine energy, the imagination is distorted, it's going to cause our DNA, divine natural awareness, is going to cause that which we bring into this, this third and fourth dimensional realm to be distorted and to be distracted or to be uh, not the optimum that it could be. So that's what this video is about. It's about identifying these things without uh, condemnation, but with definitely with uh, judgment. And I talk about this before. I probably will do an actual video on this at some point. The difference between, again, semantics. So, so it's about how I'm defining it, because some people might use judgment how I'm using condemnation, but not condemning ourselves or society or anybody else, but definitely judging it and saying that's not for me. And so, you know, that, and there's a lot of things right now that are looking to distract our mental focus, our ability to have clarity and our ability to set, you know, powerful intention. If you got a, if you got a gun, you're a sniper or you, you're an archer, you can't be all over willy nilly about it and all over the place or whatever, like, you know, it takes direct focus, right? To be direct and everything, to hit the bull's eye, to, to, to be able to have our, 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 whatever it is that we want to be able to have it manifest here in this realm, we have to be very clear. And so we can't be distracted. And then on the other hand, if we want to give womb to, if we want to birth something, uh, then our energy, imagine if what it is that we're trying to birth, like that's what basically a tumor is. You know, sometimes it has like hair, uh, hair and teeth and stuff mixed into the tumor when they take it out because basically like the body was making another little kid in our bodies or whatever um, or making a child but it, it didn't have all of the program it didn't have all the information so it was distorted so that can also happen to the feminine energy uh, when there's distortion around our imagination when it's not clear when it hasn't gotten the, the clear seed from the intention so and there's a lot of things right now to distort, or distort and distract us. You know, the, the whole, you know, celebrities slapping one another and everything uh, or different stuff on Netflix, that, you know, with all this violence, you know, is a certain TV show series that just a couple of months ago came came out of like, South Korea or whatever. And it was it was the craze. And it was really just child games made into this violent thing. I know that there were some deeper uh, messages about society and everything. But it's interesting, the play on violence. We talk about porn. That's another distraction or distortion. That's a, a distraction uh, of the, the masculine energy and being able to focus its sexual or sensual energy. And then there's also a distortion of the emotional energy, right, in some ways. And that's on the, the, the sensual or sexual level, right? But then also just violence and, you know, Let's be very clear about the nature of the threat. You know, like sometimes these hip hop videos that we watch and, and the music, and the music that we listen to. Again, I've said it before. I'm saying it again. If a picture says a thousand words, if a picture paints a thousand words, then a song paints a thousand pictures. So because it does what? It takes our, our intention and it kind of it does something with that. It, 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 it jumbles it up a little bit. Right. And then our imagination has got us starting to fantasize and see things and distorting what it is that we really desire. 
And some of us that's happened at a very young age. So we have a lot of distraction and we have a lot of distortion because the powers that were, and I'm not going to say that, that be, I'm going to say were, because I'm looking at things. Let's look at things from our crown. Let's look at things like an eagle from a high state. That shit is already over. When those towers fell back in 2001, that, that was the world trade. That way of life, that way of being has fallen a long time ago. And these are things that in a desperate attempt, it's like the scene on, uh, on the Matrix. What Morpheus is speaking to, how they're trying to move on Zion. Notice how the word Zion has ion in it, which what ion is a charged particle. And I'm going to get into that in a minute with distraction and distortion. It's an exchange of energy is what a lot of ion wor words that have ion, not all of them, but a lot of them are letting us know that there's some exchange of energy of sorts, that there's a giver and a receiver of energy when we're using these words or these concepts. And so even with the word Zion, um, but Morpheus, what, we, what he was saying there is that this is a this desperate attempt by the machines, by the machine culture to basically stay alive. And there's a lot of fear there because more and more of us are make, waking up out of the matrix, out of the Mayat tricks. You know what I mean? Uh, the way that our Mayat, our measurement of love and divine love and, you know, has been, uh, we, a lot of us are waking up to that shit. And so there's a desperate attempt. It's like if we got to kill another person, cause a racial war, or if we got to go bomb another uh, sovereign country or nation, one nation against another nation over resources that we could all figure out how to share and everything. And please know that whether it be Syria or Ukraine or um, places in Africa that we never even hear about, all of the violence that's going on there is China and India and other people have their hands in, the, in, 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 in Africa, the continent, and taking natural resources, not including, of course, the UK and America. Constantly, the whole industrial revolution, uh, revolution ion, was founded by the by a lot of it by South America and Africa, you know, and the natural resources that's been stolen. So all of that to say that all of these are in the energy field of the planet right now, and that, that we all are feeling collectively, right? And so and let's take a deep breath into this, breathing in and out, transmuting that, right? You know, because I don't want you coming away from this video feeling bad about all of that. This is just the nature of things. Anything that's outside of source, we're going to have a certain play with peaks and valleys, thorns and roses, right? Uh, but it's when there's an overemphasis on the pain aspect of life and that we don't know how to manifest peace instead of pain. That is what's challenging. One of the things that does that is distractions and distortions. Distracting our masculine energy and distorting our feminine ability. Uh, our, our, our feminine faculties to create. So we send love out to those people, those places that are under these, these physical attacks. And those of us who are in a more stable place, it is on us. It is part of our responsibility to walk around with in the light and to have the proper understanding about our relationship between the the shadow part of ourself and the light part of ourself and also being able to go into that deep, dark state, understanding that the difference between to me, and I'll do a video on this, the shadow and darkness is darkness is the whole of all creation. Think about it, even a star, when it collapses in on itself with gravity, what they tell us in these different theories and everything is that it goes back into the darkness. Don't be fearful of the dark. Now, shadow is different. Because on the scale of shadow, shadow can be good. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it can be benevolent. It's just an aspect. If you if we have light, even a Christ or a Buddha, you know, has if, if, you, if you're standing in light, you're going to cast a shadow. And as a good friend of ours said, he, you know, the shadow has our back. But on that scale of shadow, too, you can be so disconnected from source, so disconnected and feeling individualized, so uh alone and loneliness and away from love and connectedness and oneness that you feel uh, a separation of sorts. And that can be shadow too. And that can look like what we call 
evil. Notice how the word evil has live in it. So that energy to live has been what? Distracted and distorted to become evil even. That's on the scale as well of shadow. Darkness is not evil. Darkness is the womb, y'all. Your, your, our mother's womb is a place of darkness. Darkness basically is this, that peace, right? That can take anything, like the, even taking the star and, and, and the photons and stuff and breaking that motherfucker down and then creating something new. Can I go into that more in a video uh, about the nature of darkness and the difference between darkness and the shadow, uh, how I'm using it semantically or whatever, but we don't want to be distracted or distorted. And, you know, we got celebrities or what do they call them? Look at this, y'all. They being very outright about this shit. They're stars. We call our celebrities what? Stars. But they, instead of shining light and sparking consciousness and, and taking like the Olympic torch and shining and giving you a light and so that you can go and, and pass the light on and the fire and the, the, the spark on to another, another being, what are they doing? They distracting, they got us looking over here and there and everything and not looking inward and, and keeping us from our own divine understanding. Distraction has the word ion at it, on it at the end, distraction, ion. And then distortion, distortion or distortion ion, because there's an exchange of energy. The ion from distraction, which would, when healthy, is attention ion. Get it? Is an attention or uh, attention. So intention or attention is a charged energy that you're sending to the womb. It's a, a seed. It's a, a, a energy to impregnate, to project, to penetrate something, right? That's what attention and intention is of creation ion, right? And to, to something that is in a place of reception or reception ion or creation, creation ion is to be able to receive that intention or that. Um, that attention and to now create and to be to be in a place of reception, to be in a place of creation, you see? But we can't do that if we are in distraction or distortion. So don't let anyone distract your masculine energy and then don't let anyone distort. Don't let anyone distort your uh, feminine energy. We want to be able to have both. And through both is creation. Through both, we are able to put something to have formation, to have something uh, powerful on this planet. And again, social media, porn, you know, all these different things. If you haven't, I just did a video uh, about my journey, you know, how I made it 365 days to not watch porn. You can check that link out the, below or look on my channel for it. And uh, if you like this content, please like it, please subscribe, please share, please write something in the comments what you like about it or and or uh, what else you would like for me to focus on with that. And uh, and please think about being a Patreon. You know, this is what I do, you know, and uh, on my Patreon channel, I go deeper into these different topics and uh, share different things to help you out on your journey. Notice how the word journey has joy in it. So your support allows me to be able to focus what my divine masculine energy to, to focus and to give room to my mental focus to be able to help you out on your journey. So I appreciate you uh, with, with the support of my Patreon and even watching this video. And again, I'm so far from full show energy work and full show health on YouTube and I do energy work uh, with couples and singles uh, with couples. Me and my lady do that. She uh, works with just the, the moon beings and then I work with the men uh, if they're singles and then we work together. I also have a book, Soul, Sacred Orgasmic Living. So to help you shine your light, step into your soul. And lastly, we have a series of webinars, Sex to SEX, 
sensual emotional exchange. What is the exchange again? The awareness with the breath, the breath with the awareness. I appreciate y'all coming through. Keep that SCX in your life. Keep shining, keep evolving, and do so exponentially. Oneness.